Well, can we just start there? Can you tell us, tell us why you are soaking wet right yeah. now in the press conference? Yeah, it's just a great win, and they got me good. All my other coaches left me out to dry, and they stayed in the back. I should have known something then when they stayed out of the back because it got out the way. So it was a good moment in the locker room. I spoke to Nick on the walk-off, and he said how much it meant to get this win for you and just as a team, how excited they were for you. Just what does it mean to have the team celebrate you like that and then for you to get that win, to see your team play the way and with the joy that you talked about earlier? Yeah, it just, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, they just kept believing. It's been a couple up and down days, um, unknown days, um, and they just stayed together. And one thing I know about this team, they love each other. And that's the only thing I want to see because love can get through anything. So the joy and the love that they share for each other is amazing. They play for each other. They want to win for each other. And that's what we got to do. That's the way we have to play. Uh, we got to play with grit. We got to play with defense. And then we got to share the basketball. And I think we did that tonight. And we played with composure. Um, I think we had 10 turnovers total. Um, against a team like that, um, that's really, really good. And we want to just build off that momentum. Um, we can't celebrate too long. We got to get ready for Orlando, and uh, we're just going to get back on a fight and get ready for them tomorrow. Coach, did you get the game ball? Yeah, I got the game ball. <laughs> <laughs> so where will it go? Uh, it'll go in my office first. Uh, Definitely going to touch it and, and put it up for my mom in heaven and my sister in heaven. Uh, I know they was watching over me in this first win, so uh, definitely going to raise it up and, and toast it to them. Guys have, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You, you've talked about trying to basically do simple better. Yeah. Um, and guys have talked about getting used to the way you wanted to play offensively. But the way the ball was popping around, I think whatever 30 some odd assists on 44 baskets um a is that a picture of how you want them to play and could you see guys getting more comfortable with what it is that you wanted them to do and how they wanted to play offense uh, they, they have a masterpiece inside so it's just trying to bring that out um, each and every day um, we got to play together we don't have these mecca all-stars on our team where we can play just iso basketball and you know just trying to tell them that uh, we have to move the ball uh, when you share the ball you're very hard to guard so i just try to c continually say that because if we share the ball it's hard to stick us we have some some elite players uh, that can get downhill they can shoot um, and we just took care of the ball today and we got back in transition and i think those was the keys to the game um, to come out and get this win against memphis I was going to ask kind of what was the keys for you guys being able to slow them down and transition after the last two games? Um, making shots, that's one thing. Uh, they having to take out the ball um, instead of, you know, long shots. We missing shots and then they running out. Our turnovers was low. Um, you know, that first game we had 19 and then we had double-figure turnovers um, against, um, against Minnesota. So just understanding that, being composed when we got in the half court, but just being able to get out and transition ourselves. Um, I thought that was good, and our defense was solid all night. So they play with the level five energy on eight, each each end of the court, but we can take care of the defensive court, defense side of the court. You can't take care of the offensive court because you can make, you can miss shots. That's un, that's not in your control, but the defense is, is in your control, and I thought they controlled it all night. And as a former player, I guess it's a feeling even more special getting your first win as a coach just because it's not just that, but it's you've played in this league, you've been around this league, and now you have another new experience to add to your resume, I guess? Yeah, it's just, I mean, God has just blessed me um, leaving UConn and, you know, going through the arbitration and all that stuff with UConn and then a, overtime elite finding me and I'm being able to do something great there um, and establish myself again with, some, with the young culture. And then, you know, I, I just want to say thank you to Jock because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. And um, believing in me, bringing me in with no coaching experience, uh, no interview or anything. He was just like, I was like, Jock, I want to fly up and interview. He's like, nah, you don't need to drive up and interview. I believe in you. I know where you're from. I know your character. I know what you've built. And I just want to say thank him because I owe it all to him and I owe it all to God. And this organization, Sean Marks and everybody believing in me, Joe Sy believing in me. So it's not about me. It's about everybody else. And, um, you know, I just want to thank God for the opportunity.